No way, seriously. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to new parenting training. So today I'm gonna set up a different office table. So my current setup is using an IKEA one, and that one is serving me pretty well. But the thing is that I'm slowly running out of space on it because that's a 60 some odd inch table. So the one I got is called the Ultra HD. It's technically a workbench. So it's really, really heavy. If we actually unbox everything inside the garage and we have to bring it up piece by piece. In the beginning of this video, you will see me uh, setting it up, but this thing is heavy duty. Not only the tabletop is really thick, but also it can support up to 2000 pounds of weight on top of it. So needless to say, this thing can support just about anything you can throw at it with your office setup. This thing is a little bit longer than my current setup, so that's why I want it for. And also, this table is actually much, much cheaper than the IKEA table. Now, this thing comes in like a little bit over $200 if you buy it from Sam's Club, uh, but on Amazon, is a little bit more expensive. I'll put all the product information down in the description below so you can go check it out. If you buy from Sam's Club, I strongly suggest uh, if you don't have a truck or SUV to have it shipped to your house because the shipping for this particular table is only $10. Now, the reason why this, this table is super heavy, I think the actual weight itself for this table is about 200 pounds. So unless you have two people or a big car or truck, I don't try to transport this by yourself. It's gonna hurt your back. Well, luckily we have an SUV at home, but yeah, when I do the table pickup, one of the Sims Club employee has to help me put this table into the SUV itself. Don't try to move this thing by yourself. You will get hurt. <laughs> yeah, this thing is really heavy. So the installation of this table is very straightforward and simple. Even if you don't have a manual instruction, it's not that hard to figure it out how to install everything. All the nuts and bolts are the same size and you will end up with one nut, one bolt extra. So just keep that in mind. Now this table comes with all the tools. It will provide you with the open-ended wrench to install the table. You don't have to worry about having any tools to install this. So yeah, this table is fairly straightforward. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. I will talk about my experience with it toward the end.
All right, so here's my current desktop setup. So this desk I have reviewed much earlier. This is IKEA desk. Uh, this is actually 63 inches. And as you can see, I'm like gradually running out of space here. Now, what I have is not that much, I don't think. So I have like a, a laptop. Well, sometimes I use it, but I keep on this desk. And then I have what, uh, two 27 inch monitors with a desktop and also a backup battery system on the side. With all this, as you can see, I'm running out of space. All right guys, so here we go. This is the two tables here, side by side. As you can see, the new table, the tabletop is much, much thicker than the IKEA one. And obviously the tabletop is much longer. Now this thing can support up to 2000 pounds but obviously not this one. Now, in terms of length, of course the new one is much longer, 70 inch. The IKEA one's only coming in 63 inch. But in terms of the width, this one is a little bit narrower than the IKEA one. But uh, I guess that's okay. I'm willing to do that trade off. So here uh, you can adjust the, the length of the leg. Uh, I put it to the second slot. So I think if I want to be the same height as the IKEA one, I should put into the first slot. But that's okay. I think I can live with this. That's not really an issue. Now, with the IKEA one, they do provide you with a mesh here. This will help with cable management. But this workbench, it doesn't come with any of that, which is okay. I'm thinking about uh, doing something a more DIY of a uh, cable management. Now, this table is super, super sturdy. So you will not uh, feel any wobbling because this is not gonna happen. Yeah, this is gonna be really great. And one other thing just wanna mention that if you want to adjust the leg, you can still actually do that with the wrench, the open end. So you can actually adjust on the bottom here. There's a little nut. Uh, but as far as I can see right now, this is level. All right, so here we have it. Uh, this is the new table with a new setup. Well, not really the new setup, but just the new table. Yeah, this is super sturdy. So there's no way this will wobble or anything. So the next thing I think I need to do is to get a, a uh, monitor arm for these two monitors as this table is narrower than the ikea one now the monitor stand is kind of hanging by the edge so i need to push this monitor out a little bit with the monitor arm and another thing i need to get is to probably get some cable management uh, tools because this the uh, right now from the front you don't see much but the back the cable is like everywhere anyway I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. And I will also put all the product information and the videos that I previously done in the description down below as well. Until next time, bye.